Have you ever thought Sheikh Gumi will ever ask President Buhari to resign? Here's what the Islamic scholar recently said about President Muhammadu Buhari as gunmen wreck havoc on Governor Hope Uzadima's country home. Hello guys, good morning to you, good afternoon to you, good evening to you, depending on the time it is now on your location. This is News Track on KTV News 24, Ninja. Please, if this is the first time you are seeing our news video like this, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel at KTV News 24, Ninja. After you have subscribed, kindly hit your finger on the notification bell to always get alerted each time news break. This news is powered by Great Leaders International School, Benin City, Edo State, Nigeria. I am Stanley Okocha, a rock by Dame, reading the hot trending news just breaking out of Nigeria at this time. Now let's get into the news as it happened. The Islamic scholar Sheikh Ahmad Gumi has told President Muhammadu Buhari to resign. Sheikh Gumi said this while speaking with a Muslim gathering today. He emphasized that President Buhari has to resign for his inability to secure the country from criminals which now makes the blood of innocent Nigerians to flow in the country. Mr. Gumi also said that he will give the same advice that he gave to former President Goodluck Jonathan to President Muhammadu Buhari who he said is his brother but seemed to be less democratic than Dr. Goodluck Jonathan. Sheikh Ahmad Gumi said in his own words, During the time of Jonathan, Jonathan was in power and blood was flowing. I criticized him for not doing enough. Why did I blame Jonathan? Because blood was in his hands. Because Boko Haram were planting bombs everywhere and his government was not doing enough. Because they killed under your government, you are held responsible for the killing. If you do your best, I can say Allah can forgive you. But if you feel relaxed, no, Allah cannot forgive you. So, the same way now, the bloodshed now is more than what happened during Jonathan's government. So, now you can judge for yourself. To be fair, because our religion is a religion which upholds fairness, let's be fair to ourselves. When blood was flowing in churches, mosques, and the streets, I said let him resign because he could not handle it. He could not handle it. I said resign with immediate effect. When people are dying everywhere and the president and governors are busy attending wedding ceremonies, that is what I mean by I don't care. It is either I am true to myself, as I call for the resignation of Jonathan, I should call for the resignation of President Muhammadu Buhari with immediate effect, and the government media houses should also carry it that I said it. Even Jonathan, as bad as he was, he was more of a democrat. When he saw there was a problem, he left power and said, I don't want blood. Sheikh Bumi further said he has two options, which are to either apologize to pre former President Gulag Jonathan or ask President Muhammadu Buhari to resign. He said he has no third option, stating that Buhari should resign for not tackling insecurity. He said in his words again, Now, I have one or two options. If I cannot tell my own brother what I have told this man, then I should take an aeroplane from Abuja to Jonathan and say forgive me for castigating you in public. Either I ask for the forgiveness of Jonathan or castigate the president. There is no third option, Sheikh Gumi stated. Meanwhile, gunmen suspected to be bandit has attacked Obuma, the country home of the Imo State Governor, Governor Op Uzodima, and killed the divisional police officer in charge of the area. Chief Superintendent of Police, Fatman Doyo. In a statement released by the spokesman of the Imo State Police Command, CSP Mikhail Abatam, he said, The bandits moving in a convoy of three vehicles were seen in Omuma Town on Monday, July 26th at about 4 p.m. Speaking further on the incident, the area commander in charge of Imo State and other states within the command, ACP Benjamin Aban said as soon as he got the information about the presence of the gunmen, he alerted the ever-active tactical teams of the command 
who immediately swung into action by lay ambush and launched a surprise attack on the convoy of the bandits, which led to the neutralization of six of the bandits, while 11 others were arrested and taken to the station. In the words of the area commander, unfortunately, the divisional police officer, CSP Fat Mandoyo, paid the supreme price. The teams later recovered the three vehicles abandoned by the bandits to the police station. The vehicles, which includes two Toyota Islanders SUV with the registration number Abia MBL 517 AT and Lagos JJJ 984 EH respectively and a mid-colored unregistered Lagos Jeep were taken to the station. The further said, the command statical teams and special forces led by ACP Evans E. Shem are presently combing the forest around the area for a possible arrest of other bandits who fled into the bush. Mr. Abatab also said that the Imo State Police Commissioner has warned bandits with the intention of coming from neighboring states to stay clear of Imo State or face the dire consequences. With that report, we have come to the end of our news track for this time. We want to thank you, our subscribers and all our viewers, for always being there to watch our news videos. If you indeed got informed by this news video of happenings around Nigeria, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel at KTV News 24 Ninja. And after you have subscribed, kindly put your finger on the notification bell to always get notified each time news break and we present it for your informative pleasure. Also, follow us on our Instagram handle and on our Facebook page for more trending news updates. Please be reminded that this news track was powered by Great Leaders International Schools, Benin City, Edo State, Nigeria. Until we meet again in the next news trending video, I am Stanley Okocha Erobai Dale for KTV News 24, Niger. Thanks so much for watching.